It is not good enough merely to recite that there is a consensus of thousands of climate scientists. The number of climate scientists who, by measurement, observation, and experiment, and by the application of established theory to the results, have even attempted to determine climate sensitivity, which is how much warming we are going to get, numbers not in the thousands, but in the dozens. And most of those have concluded that the matter is indeed highly uncertain. And some of them, such as Professor Richard Lindzen and his uh, colleague Young Sang Choi, in a paper published earlier this year, have determined that the amount of outgoing radiation reaching space is far greater than that which would allow high climate sensitivity. And they estimate, once again, that there would be less than one Celsius degree of warming for a doubling of CO2 concentration. Again, Moncton states that there is no consensus on how sensitive our planet is to a doubling of CO2, something that is simply not true. There is a consensus in the literature on what the number is. But here we get a glimpse as to why Moncton says otherwise. What Moncton did here is pick one paper that agrees with his position and ignores the vast majority of papers that don't confirm his position. This is called cherry picking. The paper in question is called On the Observational Determination of Climate Sensitivity and Its Implications. It lists Richard S. Linsen and Yong Chang Choi as its authors and was accepted for publication on the 22nd of May in 2011. This paper is an attempt to address severe flaws in the 2009 version of this paper. Linsen has said that the 2009 version contains some stupid mistakes in its handling of the satellite data. Mistakes that he called embarrassing. One of the problems in the study was that Linsen only used temperature data from the tropics which he then used to calculate a global climate sensitivity for doubling of CO2. Remember my Ohio population analogy in one of the previous sections? This paper is the perfect example of why you don't do this. The problem is that the climate has a phenomenon called polar amplification. What this means is that as the world warms, it will do so more in the polar regions than in the tropics. Generally speaking, the tropics will warm the least compared to other locations in the world. It's an effect you see if you look at how much and where the world has warmed. This flaw, and many others, are the reason why this paper basically got torn to shreds in the scientific literature. The problem with the new 2011 version of this paper is that this problem, and several others, never were addressed. It's the reason the 2011 version was rejected for publication in the prestigious journals PNAS and AGU. For the PNAS submission, the peer review comments are publicly available and all four reviewers said that the paper wasn't of suitable quality and the conclusions weren't justified. This is the reason the paper was ultimately submitted and published in an obscure Korean journal. The quality of the source Moncton cites here is very poor, and he ignored the vast majority of the literature on this matter. As such, his conclusions that climate sensitivity is low is not justified. <laughs>